The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Question number two wants to know the difference between a physical change and a chemical change. So it says, using PC for physical change and CC for chemical change, identify the following. So, number one, limestone crushed. Number two, coal burns. Three, steam condenses. Four, banana ripens. And five, air expands. So we need to classify each of these five into one of these two categories. So, a physical change entails anything that you can reverse it. A chemical change, once something takes place, you cannot go back to the original one. So, if I, for instance, had a sheet of paper, and I used a pair of scissors to kind of cut this paper in half, I'm not changing the structure of the paper, because now we just have one piece of paper on this side and the second on the other side. Now, if I took a lighter and I decided I wanted to burn the sheet of paper, it's going to turn into ash. Now think of it this way. Can you take the ash and make paper again? There's no way you could do that. So that would be a chemical change. So, the first one we're going to look at is crushing limestone. So think of limestone as a big rock. And you're going to take a hammer to it and you're going to crush it in the little tiny pieces of limestone. Well, the thing you have to ask yourself is, one, am I altering the properties of the limestone, or am I just changing the physical properties? So, when you're crushing the limestone, you're not doing anything to make this molecule chemically different. All you're doing is cutting it up into thousands and thousands of tiny pieces. So, for number one, limestone, we'll put PC for physical. Number two, we're on a train and we need to use coal for energy. So we're shuffling the coal into um, the burner. Once the coal is burned, you can never get coal back out of it. It is completely changed forever. So in this case, the coal would be a chemical change. Number three, think of steam as water or ice. You have phase changes. Anything with a phase change, you can go from ice, liquid, to water, or liquid is water, excuse me, ice to water slash liquid, to steam, but if you cool the steam you can go back the other way and make the steam into water and the water into ice. So, for this one, if steam is condensing back to water, then that is just a phase change. Anything with a phase change is just a physical change. So think of phase like physical. So number three, physical change. Number four, we have this banana. and we peel the side, and it gets all brown and mushy. Now, think of your banana at home. Once this banana ripens, and you leave it on the counter, and it becomes brown and disgusting, will it ever be able to go back to be an edible banana? The answer is no, because it is chemically changing, so the banana is a chemical change. You can never get back to the ripe banana once it becomes old and mushy, simply put. And number five, air expanding. For expanding air, you can think of it as all it's doing, if we have a piston, 
and the piston's moving up and down. So here we have air, and then it's pushing this piston upwards. When air expands, it's either compressing or expanding, just like a gas, and it's just getting smaller and larger. When we think of something being crushed, it becomes smaller. When we think of something being put together, it becomes larger. So here, we're just getting more air, so it's a physical change. So the answer, limestone being crushed, you're going from a larger to a smaller, but it doesn't change, it just changes phases. Number two, coal burns. You can never, ever go back once you heat the coal and turn it into energy. So it's a chemical change. Number three, steam condenses. Just a phase change. Remember, phase change is a physical change. Number four, banana ripens. Also on your test, maybe you'll see cooking an egg. Cooking an egg is the same as if a banana ripens. Once you cook that egg, you can never go back to have a raw egg. So if you see an egg, or maybe they say denaturing an egg on your test, think chemical change. And the last one, air expanding and compressing, is just, once again, any gas, and that's a physical change. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu